After winning the first 13 feature-length races of 2023, Alvaro Bautista has been beaten in three of the last five. Typically here in Aragon, we've seen it where Bautista's tire management has been the key for him. He's so strong around this track. One second time this season, it's pole position for Jonathan Ray. Never underestimate Jonathan Ray. One of the Tissot Aragon round gets underway and it's Alvaro Bautista who cuts across the nose of Jonathan Ray to lead them. You can visibly just see Jonathan Ray getting closer to top rack and further away from Bautista. Jonathan Ray's in deep. Oh, Bautista! Bautista! Alvaro Bautista, having uh, accumulated a lead of over a second, is down at turn nine. Here's Raz Gatlioglu moving through into top spot in front of Jonathan Ray. So Top Rack has the opportunity to make back as many as 25 points. Here comes Jonathan Ray attacking back on Raz Gatlioglu. If Raz Gatlioglu and Ray fight with each other like we know they will, that's going to bring Ronaldi back into this. Michael Ruben Ronaldi through on Top Rack, Raz Gatlioglu. His last victory, Barcelona 2021. Ronaldo jabs down the inside and Jonathan Ray has to yield. Ronaldo makes the move a lot earlier on Jonathan Ray. Down the inside, we know what he's capable of doing at turn seven, he's done it again. Ronaldo with the slipstream advantage, closest he's been on the back straight to making a pass on Jonathan Ray and he's through down the inside into turn 16 on lap 15. Ronaldo hits the front. And Top Rack has got up into second place. That's just Top Rack needing to come through there as well. He was just making sure that no matter what, he was going to break deeper than Ray. Super stuff from Ronaldo. He's kept a cool head all the way through this race. And he exits the final turn. This is the venue where Michael Ruben Ronaldo made his world SBK debut over five years ago. He's a race winner again for the first time since Barcelona 2021. But Alvaro Bautista down again! Alvaro Bautista down at the final two turns. with the title race more alive than at any other stage of the European season. 37 points, the gap between the top two. 37 points available on Sunday in World SBK. Michael, he's got the bike working really well around this track, and uh, he's certainly going to be confident all the way through. Bautista immediately moving up alongside Jonathan Ray. Big moment for Axel Bassani going into turn one. He's off the circuit altogether. Ray recovers the race lead. Bautista has a big moment coming off turn 10. But once you get onto the straight, it'll be right on board. Look at that Ducati just disappear from top rack. Onto the start finish straight, it's only just over 600 metres, but Bautista is already up and alongside. Ray is able to break later. Bautista has the inside. Ray carries his momentum all the way around the outside. It'll give him the inside then for turn two. Super riding from Jonathan. Ray will knock him in. And it's now top rack Raz Gatlioglu who has the momentum and fights his way through into second place. One lap to go. Here comes Bautista, sliding and wobbling his way through to second. It's put him off the racing line. Raz Gatlioglu tries to jab back down the inside, can't quite get there. Now it's Ray versus Bautista for this race victory. Alvaro Bautista soars around the outside of Ray with only two turns to go. Jonathan Ray now might think about a cutback manoeuvre coming off the final turn, but Bautista has held the inside line well. And Alvaro Bautista takes the perfect revenge after his failure to score yesterday with a victory in the Super Bowl race. We sometimes get what we deserve, but I'm not quite convinced you got what you deserved then. That's it, man.
Four Sunday doubles earlier in the season. Baptista targeting another here. Favourite after a hard-earned Super Bowl race win this morning, his fifth of the campaign. Race two of the 2023 Tissot Aragon round gets underway. Really fast start from Andrea Locatelli from the second row. Top rep Razgatlioglu passed by Andrea Locatelli. And Baptista now under pressure from Locatelli behind. Ray attacks on Baptista. The start of lap two. And Locatelli will try and put the block pass on Jonathan Ray and Baptista was primed for the cutback to pick up the pieces. But it is Locatelli who leads. As they come through turn four, Baptista recovers the place. For top rack Raz Gaglioglu, it's damage limitation. He'll want to get through on his team partner, Andrea Locatelli. Locatelli's looking good and comfortable there in front of the top rack. He's weathered the storm, and then he's keeping himself in that position. That is Petrucci out of the race. Michael Rubinelli up alongside Jonathan Ray. Ray will carry the wider line, but Rinaldi pulls alongside. Locatelli knows what's at stake, but he's not going to open the door for top rack. And here's the part from Raz Gaglioglu. Yeah, so I noticed a puff of smoke a lap ago, but didn't think too much of it. And now the flag is out for Locatelli, so that's going to be the end of Locatelli's race. Bautista then is your race leader, four and a half seconds clear of top rack Raz Gaglioglu. Lock is still going there, and now he's finally pulled off. Real devastation though for Andrea Locatelli just when he was looking set for his best performance, uh, best results of this 2023 campaign so far. This afternoon, it's been a supreme performance from him. Great job on the last lap in the Super Bowl race. Great job throughout in race two this afternoon. A fifth Sunday double of the 2023 campaign and his first since Mizano for Alvaro Bautista.